McKinstry at third, Peters at second. Dodgers trying to get on the board first here in game one of spring training. Payoff pitch to Seeger. He is lifted into center field. Loriano coming on. It falls in front of him. Base hit. McKinstry in to score. Peters stops at third. And Corey Seeger is driven in the first run of the spring. In <laughs> the 20% capacity as the MVP chant going. Well, last year we got to hear the players through the field mics, a lot of the conversations and things. This year it looks like anybody who's a loud fan is going to have a microphone to use. Key. Do it. It's driven deep to right field. Fair ball, it's going. See ya. A long home run for Tuckman. I'm good luck. I'm and it's 5-4. Nice. You're good luck, Luke. Man, that was way back. That's his second one. He got one off the other day off uh, in uh, live BP. Oh, yeah. Man, there you go. The boys are bopping now. That was some shot. I think they hit the uh, that roof of the pavilion. Long home run for Talkman. Ready to work is Mike Wright. Checks his two runners and the pitch home. Swing and a high fly. Deep left field. Way back. It is gone. Welcome back, Keston Hira. A three-run home run in the top of the first. And the Brewers take a 3-0 lead on the White Sox. A walk, a single, and a missile. And that got out in a hurry for Keston Hira. Mike Wright, non-roster invite to camp for... Chicago let one out on a tee for Keston. The 2 Sky deep into left center field giving chase as Frazier it's over his head that'll go up against the wall. Davis will score easily and Biggio is at second with an RBI double it's three nothing Toronto. Well it's the type of hitter the Biggio is I mean gap to gap. He's got some power drives that ball over Frazier's head. It's a lot of talent. On this young Blue Jays team, Biggio's right there in the middle of it all. He's got a team built around home runs. Yeah, I think Tony's got a good feel talking to him for what this team can do offensively as Angle drives it deep to left field, back at the wall, and Adam Angle flashes the power here in the first inning. I'm not sure if I mentioned it, but he can hit the ball out of the park now. And what we saw, again, it wasn't quite the distance of Hura. But it was into the teeth of what is a substantial wind blowing straight in from left center field. So this ball was hit awfully hard and the wind could not keep it in the park. And just like that, a three to nothing game becomes a three to two game. Two one to Garcia. And Garcia fly ball deep center field. Engel racing back at the track. He looks up. That ball's gone. That ball got up in the jet stream and got way out of here off the bat of Aviseo Garcia. And the Brewers flexing their muscles now. It's 5-2. to two. That one over the batter's eye in straightaway center field lane. And as soon as it got caught up into that wind, that thing sailed. It might have gone out anyway, but gave it a little extra oomph. Engel turned and retreated, but after about five steps, he just hung his head. He knew there was no shot that was going to be in play. That you, can, you know, that you can't recognize other pitches. Off the bag and barehanded. Oh, what a play at first base. It's our play of the day right there. Mendoza, terrific play up the first base line. It's a heck of a play. Sure is. Oh. So base is loaded for Rowdy Telez. That one is ripped to right field. It is. A fair ball and it bounces over the stands for a double and that allowed two runs to score and just like that the Blue Jays up to nothing. See King tries to cut that fastball in on Telez and he beats him to the punch and keeps it fair. One bounce over the wall. I'm not sure what the precipitation is. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Lifted in the air into right center and that ball is down and all the way to the track. A run will score to make it a 3 2 game. Harrison Bader drives in Tyler O'Neill. Boy, Oni. Love answering back right there after a long inning. That was good. Good at Beffer doing a good start. A nice, nice 
approached by Harris, drive the ball through the middle. The guys driving the ball the other way. That's so important, especially for these young guys. And I think that's going to set Harrison apart from having spotty play to being able to play every day. You know, it's good to get back in the box. Oh, there we go. Get that ball. Get going. The right center field. There hey! Oh, see ya! A two-run home run for Brantley, and it's now 5-3 Toronto. Good for Rob. Good swing. Come on, Luke. Do some uh, analysis. So break down the swing. What did he do? <laughs> Atta boy, Robbie. Oh, man. Uh, it looks like he got a heater, you know, middle in, and he let it, uh, the big dog eat right there. So uh, good stuff. I feel like I'm in a college doubleheader. That ball is hammered to left center field. Did he break it through the wind? He did. Home run, Matt Davidson. <laughs> 13 miles an hour, 30 miles an hour, two club wind, three club wind. It didn't matter. He pummels a home run to put the Dodgers in front in the seventh. That is true. Pitch was up and off the glove of Arenado and into left. Throw to the plate is not in time. As Perez scores and it's a 3-1 Washington lead. The ball's blistered right there with a top spin. And first offering, swung on, hit out towards right, and it falls in front of Garcia. Now, runner trying to get to third. Here's the throw from Garcia. It's on the bag and in time. Avisail Garcia throws out Danny Mendick trying to go first to third. No spring training necessary for that cannon of an arm from Garcia and right. That's the second out of the inning. Tim Anderson coming to the plate, runner at first and two outs. Good throw from Garcia to peg the runner at third.